After installation the first few weeks to a month, we are trying to bring your property to a ready state. During this period after a fresh install, we call this period the adjustment period. Our objective of the robot is to complete its loop. We want the robot to go out and mow, return back to the charging station, and go out during its next scheduled time. If it gets stuck on something on the boundary wire path returning back to the charging station, this will prevent its scheduled loop. This means picking up sticks, toys, and loose debris that it might get caught on, especially if it's directly on the boundary wire path. There might be certain areas of the lawn our robot might have missed or sections of the grass are growing unevenly, which can be normal during the adjustment period. To solve this, we can adjust the wire to get these spots or increase the work time of the robot. These areas are called adjustment spots. They usually take some time to identify as the grass will grow at different heights. These areas are usually just trimmed by our lawn maintenance supervisors on a bi-weekly basis but in the rapid growing season for grass, it might require a weekly cut or a small amount of participation by the yard's owner to make the grass look sharp and uniform. As the growing season slows down, a bi-weekly cut should be all that's required to keep a smooth, consistent, uniform cut on the lawn. However, this ideal case does not always happen as there are unseen things in the yard like uneven ground, roots, debris, and getting you also accustomed to having a robot mow your lawn seven days a week. There is a higher probability of the robot getting stuck than normal. During the first few weeks, you should spend a few minutes a day to make sure your robot has completed its loop and is either out in the yard cutting the grass and also has successfully docked back to the charging station. Remember, while it's in the charging station, you should see the LED illumination on the screen saying, waiting for scheduled time. You could walk out and find your robot stuck on a twig or stuck on some uneven ground, roots, and it's slipping on an uneven elevation down a hill where the perimeter wire has been buried. Sometimes a screen readout will say trapped or outside boundary wire. If the robot gets stuck at all, take a picture and send it to stuck at machinemowers.com. Typically, if the robot gets stuck twice in the same area within a short period of time, we should make a wire adjustment. It takes us about 24 to 48 business hours to answer service calls to make these wire adjustments. As you and the robot get more familiar and we are more confident it can keep mowing and not get stuck and therefore completing its loop, then we can begin to adjust cutting times or even let it run at night until we reach the point of automation and we know the robot can confidently repeat its loop every time it's scheduled to run we ask for your continued patience as we optimize our robot friend during this adjustment period.